Hey, Coach G here, Mind, Body, Soul, Shift, Your Life, Health, and Wellness Coach. I trust that everybody had a blessed Thanksgiving and that you enjoyed your time of fellowship with family and friends. So uh, now we're going to get back into the groove of things. Uh, this week, we are kicking off week three of the Six Weeks Challenge, Five Pillars to Better Health Challenge. And uh, it is going to... Uh, we're going to cover the five pillars that is going to help you to improve your quality of life. So let me give you a quick reminder of what those five pillars to better health will look like. The first week we covered mindset. And the last this week before this, well, which we didn't have a session on um, the week of Thanksgiving, but uh, the week before Thanksgiving, we talked about habits and how to improve your habits. So we did mindset and habits. And this week we're talking about eating habits. And we also have physical activity, sleeping habits, and your water intake. So today we're going to talk about eating habits and how to improve your eating habits. This pillar is vital to your wellness. When I tell you it's vital to your wellness, it's vital to your wellness. So let's just jump right in and see the ways that we can develop better eating habits. So let's start right here. Here's where I wanna start. I wanna start with detox. Why detox? Well, in my opinion, I think that when you start off with the detox, you are getting rid of all the old toxins that's in your body. And most people use detox as a um, to promote weight loss and um, as a weight loss program. And uh, what I need you to know is that it's so much more to detox than just um, weight loss. So here are some amazing benefits to a detox program. Yes, weight loss is one is the first thing, but it also increases your energy. It also helps you to relieve joint pain. It improves your digestive system. It boosts your immune system. It reduces cravings. It stabilizes your moods. It gives you clearer skin. And it improves your sleep, which is one of the pillars. And it rebalances your hormones, especially us ladies. Um, and it sharpens your mind. It is a full body reset. That's what I like to call a detox. It resets everything inside your body. So there's no surprise that your daily diet is a huge part in your overall health. Huge part. A healthy body leads to a healthy mind. And you become more productive in work and just in life in general. Good nutrition is an important part of leading a healthy lifestyle. So when they say, when you hear that you are what you eat, trust me, you are what you eat. Combined with physical activity, which is our next pillar next week, uh, your diet can help you reach and maintain a healthy weight. It also can reduce the risk of diseases like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high A1C, and diabetes. It promotes good overall health. So if you're trying to or have a desire to embark on a positive journey, let me share a few tips that will help you start a healthy uh, diet. And when I say diet, I mean what you eat, not dieting, but your diet. Um, it will promote a healthy lifestyle. So here's the number one thing that uh, will help you, um, that this will help you to promote. Uh, and if you follow these tips, you will find that your eating habits will improve. Uh, balance your meals. That's the number one thing. Portions of what you eat to ensure that you're not overeating. I think that because we were not taught about healthy diets, that we don't know um, what it is that we should be consuming. But your diet should consist of 45% carbs, 30% protein, and 35% of healthy fat. And to get an adequate amount of nutrition uh, on a daily basis, uh, 
this is important to be able to follow the portion sizes because it's really important um, so that you don't overeat and that you do uh, get what you need as far as your nutrition is concerned. The second thing, stay away from junk food. You want to stay away from processed food. Stick with non-processed food to get the most um, out of your calorie intake. Processed food contains a lot of artificial uh, preservatives, which will leave you sluggish throughout the day. Um, so if you eat processed food, especially in the morning, if that's your first meal of the day, uh, you may have a burst of energy, but throughout the day, you'll feel just feel yourself start to get sluggish as day goes on. So that's why uh, it's good to stay away from processed food and only eat food that is uh, what I call live, living food. Um, the next thing I want you to do is uh, look at food that has a lot of color in it, especially green. Uh, colorful food with greens, pile on as much green food as you possibly can along with fruit um, because that is where you get your most nutrition. Um, they are rich in antioxidants and the nutrition will boost your energy versus uh, finding yourself going through um, having sluggish mornings or around noontime you find yourself, it's like my energy level is like down. So you want to eat food that's high in antioxidants that will boost your energy um, and that will get you motivated uh, to take on your day. Um, because once you feel good, you can take on anything. The next thing that I want you to be aware of is to eat regularly. Uh, waiting too long to eat will definitely cause you to overeat because when you're hungry, you just like, to start piling in the food. Um, you want to eat at least six times a day. And when I say that, you know, people's like, eat six times a day, yes, but that's going to include a um, meal. I mean, meals along with your healthy snacks as well. Um, so make sure that you are eating at least six times a day. And that will help you to boost your metabolism and your energy level. Developing eating habits is not hard as you think, uh, but it does take a lot of self-discipline to achieve that. But the reward of it, the reward of eating healthy, you will start to see a change, not just in your body, but you'll have clarity of mind. You, it will boost your energy. Um, it's just so many other things that will, um, that it will help you whenever you uh, have good eating habits. You have to understand the importance of having a healthy, um, diet. And again, I'm not talking about dieting, I'm talking about your diet, what you eat on a daily basis. Um, because once you start this process, you will definitely be motivated to make the right decisions when it comes to the food that you eat. You know, once you get past the, um, and I usually like to recommend a seven day detox, once you get past the, the, the seven day detox, your body is clean and what you put into it at that point, you'll be definitely making better decisions because of how you feel. You will definitely feel better once you complete the, um, the seven day detox. You will feel more energized and you will be encouraged to, uh, you'll be encouraged to continue on that path. Uh, which will uh, give you more clarity, like I said, and it will help you with your energy level. So what I want you to focus on is I want you to focus on um, doing a detox first. And if you are looking for a good detox, I definitely have uh, a recommendation for you to be able to um, to start with the detox. I always like to, to recommend that if people are starting a weight loss journey or a uh, journey to eating better, that they start with the detox. So here's what I want you to do for the next seven days. I want you to practice the tips. Um, we can go back with the tips and I'm going to post all the tips so that way you will have them and know what they are so that way you can, um, that you can practice them. 
Number one is the balanced meals. Um, the 45% carbs, the 30% protein, and the 35% healthy fat, because our body still needs to still needs to have fat. It just has to be healthy fat. Number two is to stay away from junk food. If you eat out a lot, focus on trying to say, if you eat out four days a week, then say, okay, well, this week I'm going to eat out three days a week versus four days a week. But stay away from junk food as much as you possibly can. And processed food, stay away from the processed food because it is not, there's no benefit in it. It's really not even food, actually. I mean, when you look at a box or um, a can or anything that food comes in, if you look at it, and, and I've always, you know, kind of tried to figure this out, you know, it's like, how do you have a box and it has food in it and the box say that it's, uh, it expires in 2025? Well, what's in it that makes it last until 2025? If you had a salad and you left it in your refrigerator until 2025, of course, it ain't going to be any good. So that should let you know that that food is not live. It's not a living thing. It's not anything that's going to benefit your body, especially if it lasts until 2025. So stay away from processed food. That's number two. Number three is Add food that has color. You know, um, I, I like uh, bell peppers. You know, they come in the yellow, the green, the red, um, and especially green leafy food. Um, I like to take kale, spinach, mustard greens, um, turnip greens, collard greens, and I mix them all together. I like to call that a G-bomb. I know other people may call it something else. I like to call it a G-bomb because... What it does inside of your body is just amazing. So um, I would say as many greens as you possibly can. There's a lot of antioxidants in greens. It will boost your energy and it will definitely benefit your body in so many ways. Uh, number four is eat regularly. Don't wait too long to eat. That's the reason why I recommend that you eat six times a day. Breakfast, a snack. Lunch, a snack dinner, a snack. That's six times a day. Um, eat healthy snacks. Um, you know, grab a piece of fruit um, after you have your breakfast. Uh, I recommend like two to three hours after you eat to have a snack. This will boost your metabolism. If you're looking to lose weight, the higher, the higher your metabolism, the more body fat you're going to burn. So that's why it's important to eat at least six times a day. Um, small portions. And I am going to uh, post also um, later on uh, today, what your portion size should look like. That's really important because I know sometimes we just pile the food on, especially if we're hungry. And that's the reason why you shouldn't um, wait to eat because when you wait too long to eat, you overeat. Um, so those are the things that I want you to practice this week uh, for the next seven days. Um, and uh, start off with a detox. Um, I would say do a seven-day cleanse um, because it will definitely help you with the cravings. I know a lot of us have sugar cravings. I've had my share of them. Um, you know, uh, not to say that I have completely eliminated sugar out of my life. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that uh, sometimes I do have cravings, but when they get overwhelming, then I know it's time for me to do a detox because I got to get rid of that, that craving. And detoxing definitely helps you to um, reduce your sugar cravings. So I want you to practice these things um, over the next seven days. Um, I also have a food list uh, with nothing but healthy food on there. Um, it's, and, and I'm sure that most of you guys probably eat um, pretty much everything on the list. There's no tofu on the list, so you're good there. Um, but I think that uh, you will feel your energy level will start to increase and you'll just start to feel better. Um, again, everything on this list, you probably already eat. Um, I'm almost willing to guarantee you that you eat at least 80% of what's on the list. Um, no, no recipes, just the food, um, you know, like the greens, the fruit, different types of fruit. Um, so with that being said, um, work on adding more greens to your diet, definitely. Um, you know, you, you add a little kale here, a little collard greens there, more fruit here, healthier snacks there. You're actually on your way to um, having better eating habits. 
knowing what to eat, when to eat, so you can obtain the results that you desire. This food list will definitely help you with that. So in order to, to develop uh, better eating habits, uh, I would say, number one, start off with the detox and uh, follow the four tips. Uh, but start off with the detox. Again, if you're looking for a great seven-day cleanse, I have a great recommendation for you. Um, it is, this cleanse is actually, uh, I use it, it's a product that I that I actually use myself. Um, it is the best detox that I've ever used um, for seven days. It, I'm telling you, everything is, it cleanses everything, your liver, your lungs, your pancreas, your uh, kidneys, uh, everything, everything. So um, if you're looking for a good detox, I definitely have a recommendation for you. So this is what I have for you this week and uh, follow these tips so that you can start your journey to better eating habits. This is Coach G, your life, health and wellness coach, my body, soul shift. I'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Uh, hey, get with this challenge. It will help you to improve your quality of life. Coach G, see you next week. I'm out.